Hey guys, this is Jen over at jenscrappypages.blogspot.com and this is today's project. I won't go into too much detail because it's going to be a little bit longer to put together. Um, although the project is a little more time consuming, it's actually pretty easy to, uh, the techniques to put together. So let's get straight into the supplies that I used and then I'll get to showing the um, instructions. So I can't remember offhand. I know that these are enamel shapes. I can't remember exactly what they're called because um, I'm a bad demonstrator like that. But it comes in this really pretty silver and uh, gold. And then the uh, die set that I used is the Up and Away Thin Lits dies. And to create this, I used two different stamp sets. I used the Carousel Birthday and the Lift Me Up. You're gonna need a couple of sponges. Um, I tried the daubers, but they didn't work um, like the sponges did. So you can just buy one of those round sponges and cut it into quarters and it works perfectly. The two colors that I used are Night of Navy, and my new favorite, Lemon Lime Twist. And then you're gonna need a little uh, spray pen or spritzer pen or something to spritz the water onto your watercolor paper. I used a uh, Clear Wink of Stella for this, and oh, a fine tip glue pen. Um, I think that's all of the supplies. And then um, for cardstock, I used Knight of Navy four and a quarter by eleven, and then a four by five and a quarter thick whisper white. And um, you can also get another piece of three and three quarters by five. I don't have one offhand to put on the inside to write your sentiment. Uh, three and a half by three and a half piece and just a scrap to be able to stamp out your uh, your little ride dealy boppers on your um, Ferris wheel and then I used watercolor paper for my background so this is a three and three quarters by three and three quarters and then a scrap to be able to cut out um, our clouds and then this is a piece of, um, you can use any cardstock actually because you're just going to be coloring over it, but you just want a piece that's a little bit bigger than, than what you're uh, sponging on. So I just took this piece and I hand cut it with my scissors in a shape that I wanted and that's how I got this. So let's start actually with that piece and our watercolor paper. And I'll show you how to do this technique quick. Uh, well, hopefully quick. So what you're going to want to do is this is the one that I'm going to use for my ground. Um, and I'm just going to take my lemon lime twist and my sponge and I'm going to ink up my sponge. And I think I'm actually going to turn this um, a, a, just a different direction for, for me to be able to do this on. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start off on this and then just very lightly rub the color on and that's all I did done so for this piece I'm going to uh, line this up with it overlapping just a little bit and once you spritz your water on here it won't matter exactly because it'll all kind of start coming together um, and if you want, you could probably take like washi tape or something to tape this down. But if I hold on to this bottom, I can kind of secure it all here. So again, I'm just going to dab my um, sponge in my Night of Navy. I'm going to start off and then I'm just going to rub lightly on my watercolor paper. And you can rub, you know, a little bit darker if you want, um, depending on the color of background that you want, um, you know, how light or dark you want that to be. So I think that's going to work. So, so far you have that. And you could actually use this as it is, would be really pretty. Um, but what I liked and what I found was when I spritzed it with a little bit of water, um, the colors really nicely blended together. So I don't know, I'll show you a quick you know what mine looks like. I just love how it softly blends those two together. So you're just going to spritz um, and I guess you don't need a ton but you still want enough to where it's going to be able to spread a little bit. And then what I ended up doing is 
I took my um, my sponge that I used the green on and I just kind of dabbed a little bit in here and you know maybe kind of rubbed it around a little bit you don't want to take too much of that off um, but and then you're gonna do the same um, with this one too so you're just gonna kind of dab it in um, and then you know kind of maybe rub it around a little bit um, there really was no rhyme or reason because as I was doing it um, I was just kind of experimenting to be honest with you at first so I really wasn't sure how this was going to turn out but I did like the soft background and then I'm going to come back again with my green one and just kind of um, very carefully oops well now I'm muddying it up um, I think I'm going to move it over just a little bit and that's okay we can kind of get rid of that it comes off pretty easily if you let's see well and I'm just making muddy your mess hold on fresh sponge and maybe spritz it just a little bit again to get some water on it there see it's fixable look at that um, and I think in the, you know in the long run it's not really gonna matter I don't want to keep kind of rubbing that in um, but I think I'm just gonna leave well enough alone um, and I might come up here where I stuck my fingers and very carefully kind of just move that around a little bit to fill that in and I actually think I like the way this one turned out a little bit more than my first one because I kind of like these little lighter splatters and my sky turned out a little bit lighter too with that so um, that's kind of the cool thing about this technique is it just it, it doesn't turn out the same um, each time you do it so I'm just going to get rid of all of this stuff and take my mat off of here before I make a hot mess out of my card because it is wet so okay so I'm going to go ahead and bring this back in and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out my clouds and I'm going to let this piece dry you could always take um, a uh, dryer um, a heat gun and dry it too but I'm just going to set that aside okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring my big shot in here and we're going to cut out our three clouds with um, our dies and that's on the watercolor paper again. And then let's go ahead while we have, while we're working with the big shot, we're going to go ahead and cut out, stamp and cut out our little um, baskets, I guess they are. So you're just, you're gonna need six of these and that's just gonna get stamped like so. And then for this one, I took my night of navy and I didn't really like how dark it was so I'm just gonna stamp off and then use my second generation I just like that lighter look to it so let's grab out the big shot again and I'm gonna cut these out and they just line up perfectly on here now if I can just get my big shot to cooperate Sometimes with um, these smaller pieces, the magnetic platform is great, and I absolutely love it, but when you're, um, and I've mentioned this before, but when your little plate thingy starts to warp a little bit, um, sometimes you have to move it towards the center of your magnetic plate for it to be able to grip on there. So that should be fine. So those are done and then I'm just going to bring out, instead of bringing out my craft mat, I'm going to bring out this wonderful uh, <laughs> piece of scrap here. And so what you're going to do with this, hopefully there's not too much ink on there, is you're going to bring back in your Knight of Navy and uh, ink up your sponge. And you don't need a ton of ink on this, so very, very lightly with a light hand 
you're going to go over each one of these clouds. So it'll kind of end up looking a little bit like this. And it looks like I've missed a place, but we're going to spritz that with our water, which is going to help kind of smooth it all out and you won't have those spaces. And I also like the way the ink kind of gives that um, automatic outline when you come around it like that. And you might end up with inky fingers, but that's okay. That just shows you that you've been working, right? All right. So now we're going to, we're going to, we're gonna, uh, <laughs> we are going to go ahead and just spritz these just a little bit. They don't need to be too much. And then we're going to kind of just take our little sponge and kind of smooth that out a little bit. And you can kind of leave the watercolor mark or, you know, the watercolor too. This cloud kind of turned out neat like that. So if you want your cloud to look maybe a little bit more, um, you know, uneven or, um, and then what we're going to do after this, okay, so that's done. And then we're going to take our Wink of Stella. And this is also going to spread around your ink as well. So um, just know that when you're done using this, you're going to want to wipe off your Wink of Stella before you use it on another project because the blue will come off onto your other project. So I'm just going to get those nice and shimmery. And I'm just kind of working in a round way. You know, clouds are kind of puffy, huh? So that's that. And then just finish up with this one. And I just love this little touch of shimmer on here. They would be pretty without, but I do like that extra touch of shimmer that it gives. All right, so we're going to set those aside now. And um, then let's go ahead and while everything is still kind of drying, let's stamp out our Ferris wheel. And that's just going to go kind of here-ish in the center and we're going to be cutting that out. Um, and isn't that just such a pretty stamp? Oh my God goodness I absolutely love it now um, for the sake of time I went ahead and I cut one out already and I just took um, you know left a little bit of a white edge and then I cut off um, those little you know outside so I'll kind of show you briefly but I just went around you know the whole entire outside and I cut off those little um, the tops of the thing so um, so this is what you'll end up with when you're done cutting it all out I just thought for time's sake there's so many steps in here I would leave that one off and then your fine tip glue pen is going to come in really uh, in real handy here really handy is going to come really I don't know forgive me I've been awake since about 4 30 <laughs> oh shoot um so you're just going to take that and then I found it um, cause these pieces are so small. I just kind of used my tweezers to help me along here. And then you're just going to stick that over there. Being careful not to get your glue hands, um, and whatever else is wet there, like I just did. And then you're going to take the fine tip glue pen again on this piece here. And you're going to put that so it kind of overlaps that top part of your cupcake thing. Um, and then, remember how I said, you know, when you take the Wink of Stella, it, it kind of spreads that color. Well, I actually liked that for this because then it gave me a little bit of a hint of blue on here without being too obnoxious. And you can still see the lines. So I just took my Wink of Stella and just went over that. So, that's what you end up with. Isn't that really pretty? Oh my goodness, I just love it. Um, okay, so, 
Let's see, I think this is dry enough now. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just bring this piece because it's, it's clear. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this little tent stamp. I guess I'll try and bring this back in the picture so you guys can see what we're making. Um, and then we're going to take this tent stamp and we're going to put it in um, the outdoor denim or outdoor denim. Whoa, that was a that was a close to my heart color. Woo! Um, the Knight of Navy. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then we're just going to stamp off and I'm going to put one here on this side because they're kind of in the background so you don't want them too dark on there. And then I'm going to come over here and kind of up in this area-ish we're going to stamp another one. So there you have your background. And um, then I'm going to go ahead and attach this with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I like an even number. That way it lays evenly on my card. Or maybe I'm just kind of an even, even number person. I don't know. I always go to the grocery store and buy things in twos. I don't know if you guys do that. Oh. Okay. So that's going to get just put kind of down here. Just like that. And I used um, one of these little silver enamel gems for the center here. Make sure that was still in the, I haven't pushed it out of the way yet. So that's just gonna go here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that onto our uh, very vanilla. Sorry about that. That's my alarm to remind me that I have a conference call this morning with my team. Well, with my team's team. <laughs> um, okay, what am I doing here? I am going to adhere this to make sure that that stays on pretty good. And that's just going to come up here like that. And then our clouds, I did go ahead and just use some um, snail adhesive to put the clouds on. And so this one's going to come up. So these turned out a little bit lighter, but I think it's still, it still works. And I kind of want my cloud to come out just a little bit off of my uh, very vanilla there. I guess this is kind of a cloudy, almost half rainy day, huh? Um, and then this one's going to come down here, and I did have to lift up my Stampin' Dimensional just a little bit in order to put this in. So that's just going to kind of come here at an angle and off of... I really like the way that one turned out. And then this one... I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit more, see what else I can come up with. So we're just going to put this little cloud up here floating up there, and then we're going to throw our sentiment on. I feel like I'm saying, and then, and then, and then, and then, um, and the sentiment, make sure I'm putting right side up. It's just going to come, hopefully I'm not getting my head in the way. Um, oh, perfect. Whoop, whoop doesn't always happen that way. Um, what did I do with my, here they are. And then I just threw a couple more of these little um, enamel gems on. And they're kind of, they don't really want to come off of here. Um, so I'll put maybe like a little medium-ish, or uh, the smaller of the two on there. And then this one's going to come down here just a little bit. And that's that rule of three, the rule of thirds. And then put that one about here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put two more over here. Maybe like that. And then all we have left to do, 
try and get everything out of my way here. I feel like my space just gets smaller and smaller as I'm working. So we're just going to fold this in half as a top fold card um, at the five and a half inches. And then I'm just going to open this back up because I like to be able to uh, have a flatter surface to work on when I'm layering everything. And I'm just going to put a couple in here for good measure. And that's just going to go on the front and our card is done. Yay! I love this. I absolutely, absolutely love the way this card turned out. I'm just absolutely so tickled with it. Isn't that just really pretty? Look at all that shimmer on the clouds and on the little ride cupcake thingies and oh, so cool. Okay, so I'll stop talking about it. Um, I will have dimensions, um, maybe along with somewhat of a little uh, instructional tutorial if I can come up with something. But I do recommend coming back to my video if you plan on um, making this just for the techniques and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And um, oh, and if you do, if you like my projects, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post projects about four to five times a week. Um, and I also do my Facebook Live on Wednesday nights, which I post to my YouTube as well. Um, I thought there was something else that I was going to say, but I guess it'll have to wait. So enjoy. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.